Blake said, let's fuck some girls together. No, baby, you got that. You can handle that. Daddy don't, daddy's not into I'm not gay. Yeah. Well, Flame, you and Flame get together because Flame will fuck a FTM to the floor. <laughs> you and you hit you and Flame link up. Flame say she would listen, Flame with it. <laughs> mm -mm. That's wild. Uh somebody said we need to tell all. Mm -mm. One thing I ain't never doing. I will tell y'all a story, but I definitely won't tell you who. Yep. Ain't got nothing to do with that. That's not my thing. I don't never want to be linked. I don't want to. I never. Just look, she's somebody said, yes, Blake, holler back. <laughs> I don't never want to be linked to no niggas. I don't want nobody. I don't. I will never be linked to niggas. I don't want to be linked to niggas. I don't want to be. I don't want niggas. I don't want my name and niggas name attached to each other. I don't want to be doing no kiss and tell. I don't want to be even. I just told Mo today. Did what I said. If something happened to me, I've already given Chi oh, yeah. the instruction to run this phone over. <laughs> clear the clear out the cloud. Twice. Twice. I don't even want that from the grave. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, speaking of the police and 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 still staying on topic. Let's move right into this because this fits right. This fits the whole thing right here. We're going to rebuild our cities. We're going to bring them back like they used to be. We're going to make them safe places again. We're going to give our police their power back and we're going to give them immunity from prosecution. So they're not prosecuted for doing their job. We'll take over the horribly run capital of our country, Washington, D.C., and clean up, renovate, and rebuild our capital city so that it's no longer a nightmare of murder and crime. First of all, the way he in the way he he emphasized he emphasize the emphasize murder, murder and crime. Let's talk about murder and crime coming out of a of a, a person of non color's mouth. When you think of murder. And crime. There's nobody white that fits that bill. No one white falls under the under the uh, category of murder and crime. Nobody. Nobody white falls under murder and crime and cleaning up something. Okay, because when we when we when we have these types of conversations, like like like. We loot. They protest. You see what I'm saying? Some shit will happen after a game, and they're they they are. It's they're not celebrating. They're celebrating. But we're rioting. We're rioting. So we're <laughs> never. It never fall. We never fall under. I mean, they never fall under murder and crime. And I'm still baffled. By blacks for Trump. I'm still baffled by blacks for Trump. I'm just <laughs> baffled. And those of you who are deeply invested on voting because you want to be protected from the trainees and the faggots. And the homosexuals, and you is so crazy about the bad bitch. Y'all don't even bitch. Y'all halfway don't piss at home. You don't even be out in public. <laughs> you ain't be out in public, and you worry about the trainees in the bathroom and all the promises that they that they make that they're gonna do against all the gay rights that have been given. And y'all over there thinking that this is the, the this person is the key to re put to putting the fags back in their place. Remember that we're only 1%. The gays and trainees, we're only 1%. 1%. So when all of the things transpire for us, they were already wait. They were already they helped you get us so that they can get you. <laughs> right. Right. The one percent of us is easy to wipe out. That's easy to take care of. That's easy, but we gonna need your help to get you. So we gonna make them the problem. The faggots the problem. We gonna make the faggots and the trainees the problem 
And then we're going to run on, we're going to use our whole campaign on, we're going to fix this. We're going to get this stuff back. We're going to get back under more. America ain't never been built under no fucking moralities. That's true. We ain't never been built on no on no moral code and no more moralities and all this type of shit. We no, never have. Y'all bitches think that this shit is a game? You say vote third party? Baby, you vote when the third party is a vote for Trump. Sorry. You voting for a third party is a vote for Trump. It's just not going to happen. The third party don't have a chance in hell. It's not going to happen. So you voting third party is definitely, most definitely, definitely, and I say this again, is a vote for Trump. Kelly, you say you're a black Trump supporter. And that's what you. That's what you. We're about, what, not what we're about. Oh, I need to play this for you again so that you can really understand what you're listening to as a black Trump supporter. We're going to rebuild our cities. We're going to bring them back like they used to be. We're going to make them safe places again. We're going to give our police their power back, and we're going to give them immunity from prosecution, so they're not prosecuted for doing their job. We'll take over the horribly run capital of our country, Washington, D.C., and clean up, renovate, and rebuild our capital city so that it's no longer a nightmare of murder and crime. Do you know what immunity means? He's trying to get this shit passed on immunity because he wants to be immune. He wants to be immune from the law. He wants to be above the law. He wants to be above the law. He and all of his, what is it, constituents? Yes. All of them to be above the law. They want to be the law and nothing above them. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm so sorry for y'all that feel like that, that this person is the way out. Or, or the way, or the better way for something. I'm, I feel so, I feel for you. Ooh, I think I love you. Do, 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 do. I, I feel so. Because let me tell you something. Had they, they would, had that shit happen and he been in office and all this type of stuff, that boy would have had, they would have had the right to come into my home. Without no warrant, whatever, beat me up in the in the thing too. Yes, I was driving with suspended driver, suspended driver's license. Yes, that doesn't mean you need to get beat up for it. With no prosecution, Mo, the dirty shit that police do. That is, right. the, That's I, listen. Do you know how many times I've been fucking arrested for petty, for stupid petty shit? And, and once I was arrested, honey. And the motherfucking police took my... I got arrested on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And them fucking... Alice... <laughs> Lisa... Whatever the... Took my damn money that I had. Hold up. I had hold my money up. And I wasn't even arrested for prostitution. It was that damn car. Oh, really? Yeah. I wasn't even arrested for prostitution. and I, But I had prostituted. It was Mother's Day. That day? Well, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and them motherfucking... Them motherfuckers arrested me and took me... When I got out and went to go get my commissary, I had $11. 11 Damn. I was like, where's the rest of my money? Right. Well, this all that came into your property. So they stole some of your money. I was sitting in the back. I remember me sitting in the back seat of the car and they was talking. They said, had me sitting there for long. And they said, well, where did you, how did you get titties? How did you do that? I don't fuck with the police. How did you get titties? Reach through the thing and pull my top down. Oh, wow. Let's see. So you think you're a woman? I was like, no, I don't think I'm a woman, honey. I don't think I'm a woman. I'm a trans. There's a difference. Why don't you cut your dick off? What are you going to do with your dick? I said, keep it. <laughs> 
this is a whole sitting in the car interrogating me like just I, I didn't know what was I didn't know what was gonna happen. I did I had no idea what was gonna happen. I just sat in the back seat of the car and 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 I and and they were I was nervous because they was two white men, two white police officers. There was two white big cocky ass goddamn police officers and it was just they took my fucking money. They took my money. They were sitting in the front seat counting my money. And they said, let me give you, let, let's give her $11. No, they, that's when I, I thought they was going to turn my, all my shit in. You know what I'm saying? That's what they were saying. They said, we they were sitting with- in the front seat counting my money. You're going to leave her with $11 for commissary. I said, well, can y'all not take me to the county, please? Can y'all please not take me to the county? And they was like, uh, no, we ain't going to take We're going to take you to TGK. Guess where they took me? Where? To the county. <laughs> Dear Lord. Drove me right to the county. I was like, oh, God. Oh, wow. You know, so I don't fuck with the police. I don't fuck with the police. I don't be feeling sorry for the police with, with a lot of shit that they do. I just don't. I mean, I understand the shit that niggas go through as niggas, but just imagine being a trainee, a black trainee. Imagine. And then imagine being a a back then. I never, I have to, let me, let me well, I, I, I don't have to knock on wood because I'm not a prostitute no more, but I'm still going to do it anyway. <laughs> I have never been arrested for prostitution. Never. I have never. There is not one record thing on my record about me being arrested for prostitution. Never. I've never been arrested for prostitution. Ever. But I definitely have been in the back of the police car. I definitely have been ran down on by the police. I definitely have been ran, ran down on by the police. Definitely. Ran down on by the fucking police. Definitely the police have gathered the gathered the girls up and dropped the girls off in the hood. Like gathered the girls up, gathered the girls in the in the in in the paddy wagon. When they come through to sweep the sweep the girls up out the street, gather the girls up in the paddy wagon, and instead of dropping the girls off to taking the girls to jail, they drop the girls off in the ratchetest of hoods so that the boys could beat us up. <laughs> So when a bitch asks me why why I'm aggressive, why bitch, I had I have always had to twirl. I learned how to twirl, bitch, from the world. The world taught me how to twirl. Oh, yeah, the man. world taught me how to motherfucking have a vicious ass mouth. Hell no, I don't give a fuck about your children, bitch, when I'm reading you. I don't give a fuck about your kids, bitch. I don't give a fuck about your kids. I don't give a fuck about you. You are an enemy to me. So of course, when they ask me these things like why, why this, why that, bitch, fuck you. That's why. Bitch, the world built me up like that. Fuck ya. Fuck ya, bitch. Give a fuck about you. All you bitches is my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> All you motherfucking bitches is my enemy. Fuck ya. I know how to survive. I don't need none of this shit. That's why when I get mad, I say I tear all this shit up. <laughs> I tear all this fucking shit up. I don't give a fuck about you punk bitches. I tear it all up in this bitch. But, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I can't stand the police. Damn. I can't stand them. So, majority of you being, like, being arrested was really with your car. It was my car, my driver's license, but I have been on the beat. I have been on the beat. I was getting fucked one time in the bushes. When they caught you? Man, that nigga pants, his nigga, and this is why I'm still turning on my stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you a nigga that keep those an- those pants around your ankles. Really? Ooh. That's, that's a turn off? Oh my God. What that, is it about? If you hoes ain't that, if you hoes ain't never been fucked on the sidewalk, y'all ain't had no good dick. <laughs> <laughs> you bitches ain't never been fucked on the sidewalk. You hoes ain't never had that bitch. I got post post prostitution trauma. 
You ain't never had your motherfucker pussy beat up on the side of the motherfucker car behind a building or something. You ain't got fucked. Maddie, that, that's too much. Man. Oh, shit. You better let a bitch role play. And, if a bitch role play with you, hands down, you buy your if ankle. a bitch role play with you, you got to ask that bitch, bitch, where you from? <laughs> Bitch role play with you. You like, bitch, where you? What kind of fantasies is these, ho? Are what we you been through? Are we taking you back? Are you taking you taking me back through a childhood memory, bitch? <laughs> Shit, some of the best dick I had was the sidewalk dick. But what's what is about I don't know hands around your ankles though. That means we gotta escape. Because I have to take well, at least I gotta put one foot outside. Nah, oh you do listen, outside. you do that, you really don't get you really get caught. <laughs> And that just let me know, dude, all Africans do that, huh? Because <laughs> oh. I definitely had an African have one pants, one foot in, one drawers and shit in there. P pant. Wait, the chat broke. No. Listen. No, we got to get you another chair. Let me order it. Listen. <laughs> that nigga pants. Get the other chair. That nigga pants, that nigga pants is around his ankle, and one foot was out. He had, he had on a sock. Listen, tear that pussy up. <laughs> I was like, ow! Oh, I, I, my God, yikes! <laughs> Don't get the other chair. The chair. Let me order one off of Amazon. I'm like, yikes! <laughs> oh God, bitch. Um. Yeah, but y'all crazy. Y'all let this nigga get back in here if you want to. <laughs> you, you motherfuckers is crazy. Y'all do over there. Okay, play games. If you play pussy, let a motherfucker tell you in your in your face. Hey, niggers. <laughs> hey, this is what I got for you, niggers. <laughs> what that kind of chair called, Mo? What uh, is that? Uh, usually people call it director's chair. Director's chair. Yeah. 